Hello, in this session, we will look at the local backend. So, how do we define your local backend? So, the local backend um, uh, can be defined inside your Terraform block. So, you can define your backend as your uh, local. Now, what the local backend will do is the local backend will store the state file on your local machine itself, basically, where your Terraform is running locks that state file using system apis and then performs the operations local so here this is how you will be defining the local backend all right so you will be defining a terraform block and within the terraform block you can define your backend type so in this case we are using the local backend now by default terraform uses this so even if you don't define this terraform will still use the local backend however the uh, advantage you have of defining this um, local backend is you can define a custom path where you want to store the Terraform state file. By default, Terraform will uh, store the state file in the same location where your configuration files are. For example, so let's say here I have my configuration. So when I run the Terraform apply command, the state file will also get created in the same directory. Now by using this local backend i can give a custom path a different path where to store the uh, state file all right so here i'm using this optional path uh, argument to specify the path where the state file should be stored so the following configurations are supported so you can use the path now this is the path where your tf or your state file will be stored and this defaults to terraform.tf state the name of the file and related to the root module by default so if you don't give this then by default it will be stored on the same directory where your state configuration files are available and then you can also give the workspace dir uh, argument which is basically your workspace so again by default this will be using the default workspace but if you want to use any other workspace you can sp specify that by using this workspace dir so let's see an example for this now here i have the code that we will be using for this example i'll provide a link to this in the description section or in the resources section now uh, what we're doing here is we're using this backend.tf file where i've defined my backend all right so i'm maintaining a separate file for this so we are using the terraform block and within the within the terraform block we have defined the backend block and the type we are using is local and then i'm giving the path where the state file should be stored so this is a custom path this is user defined you can give whatever you want in my case this is the location i want to store my state file so here if you go to that location you will see as of now this is empty i don't have any state file created now when i run the terraform apply command that's when terraform will store the state file for us so then i have the local store where i have defined my uh, tags then i have my main.tf where i'm where i'm creating one uh, or other two ec2 instance and then we have the provider block where you have given the uh, uh, provider all my variable values and the variables all right so here i have the uh, code so here i have the configuration files on the uh, server let me quickly initialize this and you can see initializing the backend so this is basically the uh, backend block that we have defined uh, in this file and let's generate a plan for this so this will show me that this is going to create two resources because the count i've given so in my uh, main.tf file the count i've given is two so they should launch two ec2 instances now let's apply this and this will start creating the resources for us now once the resources are created we will see that the state file will no longer be available in the same directory rather it will be stored uh, in the location uh, you know which we have defined in the backend block so now we are again we are using the local backend meaning the stored state file will be available in the local machine itself however now instead of storing the state file in the same directory as your configuration files now we can store it in a different location by making use of this path argument so now once this infra once these resources are uh, created we should be able to see the state file in this location all right so this is where we can make use of your backend uh, configuration to specify 
one the type of backend you want to use and also the custom path where you want to store the uh, backend state file so now you can see here it says two resources added however the state file you see it is no longer available over here rather it will be available in this location so let's go to this location and here we should be able to see the state file and inside this state file we should be able to see the resources so here you can see the instance id so if i quickly log into my console Here we should be able to see two EC2 instances. So let me quickly show that to you. And here you can see dev server, dev server. So the two EC2 instances has been launched. All right. And you can see the instance side is ending with 56 EB and there's 56 EB. And then we should have one more instance here 734 uh, sorry not that one okay so 2df2 2df2 okay so now we are storing the state file in a different location however in the same local system itself so this is basically what your local backend is so at any point, uh, you, if you want to define the local backend, you can define the local backend by making use of this uh, Terraform block. And within the Terraform block, you can specify the backend type and then also an optional uh, path argument as to where you want to store the state file. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.